Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 17th of 2020. Well, it is titled a water spout in Florida. So what do we see here? Well, here taken over towards the Tampa on the Gulf Coast of, Flo of Florida, we see the a water spout and in fact, a very great picture of a water spout, which is as you may guess from how it looks is a type of tornado. However, a water spout is a tornado that occurs over water instead of over land. And these can be just as dangerous as a tornado and can have wind speeds of hundreds of kilometers per hour. So we study water spouts to really learn about them because they're a little bit different in that they can form uh, even during relatively good weather. And they're not necessarily associated with just thunderstorms. They can form at other area other times and other areas too, not just near a thunderstorm. So we can see uh, some of them like this. You can see the water as it's swirling and the storm as it goes up through into the clouds. Now we study these in a way to study weather patterns on the Earth and learn more about the Earth's atmosphere and how weather patterns work because our atmosphere is an extremely complex system and very difficult to be able to understand and tend to predict because minor changes in one thing can make major changes in what we might predict to be able to happen and there are so many different things going on it can be difficult to understand. We can also use it to look at and to help us understand storms on other planets. While we would not see water spouts on any planet other than the Earth, because the Earth is the only planet with liquid water on its surface, other types of storms do form on other planets and are there and could be something that we can study as well. And it's always a good thing to be able to study things on multiple areas because it gives you more things to look at. So studying storms on the Earth and comparing them to a storms that we see on Mars that we see on Jupiter in the atmosphere of Jupiter in the atmosphere of Saturn and the other outer planets and trying to compare those and try to get a better idea of how these storms work. And it's always a better thing to be able to have more ways to look at something instead of just one when you only have an example of one thing. It doesn't give you a very good understanding of that. When you have more ways to look at it, it may make it more difficult. It may make it more complicated, but in the long run, it does give you a better understanding of the phenomena that you happen to be looking at, which in this case for today is a water spout seen off the coast of Florida. So that was our picture of the day for May the 17th of 2020. It was titled a water spout in Florida. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be space reef flyby. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.